Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Melody. Oh yeah, and Shane. Um, so y'all know how Shane's always been on stuff for attention. Well, today he's pretending like he doesn't have a voice. So anyways, I'm gonna be taking the lead on this folklore video. I'm pretending, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear you. I'm just kidding. I made him some tea with some local honey and we are working on getting his voice back to him soon but yeah right now i'll be taking the lead today except i can't read his handwriting so he's gonna have to read off all of our donors and new patrons because we really wanted to thank you guys so i don't know it just hurts your feelings that you get a star of the show don't you it just makes you sick doesn't it? Yeah, i'll get you next time <laughs> like she said we do want to thank our donors and she can't read my writing so all right, as far as to PayPal and through the mail, we had Boyd Brees, Tall Dude. Yes. We know Tall Dude. Yes, That's thank good. you, Tall Dude. That's right. We got Charles Smith. We have David House, who said, my favorite YouTubers, people on YouTube. So that's good. He's made several donations. Thank you so much, David. Yes. You keep us on the road. Yes. And our buddy Earl Sproutley, he hooked us up. Yes. We got some apple butter. Always. Nice. Some art. Yes. And some money. Yes. Then we got David McRae, Brian Robinson, Nancy Griever Brooks, uh, Chelsea Jackson, and Vern Weller again. Mm -hmm. Our buddy Vern. Yes. And then we got, as far as patrons, we got four new patrons Pam Broderick, Joey Snyder, Tabitha Buckles, and Tracy Bozier. And I really, really appreciate you guys. And yes, thank I'll you so fight, much. Fight through to say that. I, we appreciate you guys. Yes, so. we appreciate you guys so much. Mm -hmm. And just the comments and support that you guys give us, it means so much. But mm -hmm. especially now with gas prices going out the roof and everything, we really appreciate it because we feel like what we're doing is important and we know that you guys do too. All right, so we are continuing on with our folklore series today, and we hope that you guys are loving it just like us. If you are, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Like I said, that means so much to us. So, Amen. Yes. <laughs> today, we are talking about the ghost of Fiddler's Rock in East Tennessee, Johnson County to be exact. So, this tale and I am, I have to do something for Shane, for my friend here. This tale is in this book. It's a wonderful book, Legends and Lore of East Tennessee by none other but Shane Simmons. Yes. So this story is in here and I love this one. I did this one for TikTok and it did really well. And so we want to tell you guys on YouTube about it today and go into a little bit more depth for all those who are interested. So, in Johnson County, in the late 1800s, there was a man named Martin Stone. And apparently, Martin became very skilled in playing the fiddle, which was a very hard instrument to play. But he would go up to the mountain to play his fiddle. And um, <laughs> he got really, really good at this practice. And he would go up, he'd hike up there, practice his fiddle and trying to get better at it even and one time he noticed that some snakes started gathering around and not just any snakes but rattlesnakes so they were gathered around watching him and he noticed that they were kind of like swaying just like those guys that play the flute you snake know? charmers yeah snake charmers that's the word. See, I gotta have him, even with his voice <laughs> messed up. <laughs> but yeah, so it was almost like he was charming the snakes with the fiddle. So as time went on, he got this idea, kind of a sinister idea. He turned his back on his fans, which you should never do, mm -hmm. right? No. He decided to take his shotgun with him one day and shoot some of these snakes so that he could sell off their skins because that was very in high demand for shoes and all that stuff. So he played, they started being charmed again like they always were and he shoots a couple of them before the others run off. So he takes them down, sells them, makes some good money out of it and he decides to do this week after week. So as he continued on, the snakes started getting wise to what he was doing. But instead of just not showing up, one time 
he played his hand a little too much, they weren't charmed. Oh. Yeah. They had wizened up, and they actually attacked him. Oh. Yes. So, that's why you never turn your back yeah. on the hand that they do, you know? Especially a snake. Especially a snake. So, after a few days, his family and friends were getting worried about him. They didn't know exactly where he was at, but they had an idea to check up on the mountain where he would go play to the snakes. They actually found him propped up. He had died from snake bites, but his fiddle and his gun was just laying beside of him, which was kind of mysterious. It didn't seem like he had died fighting him. Yeah. So, it's kind of weird, and the theory there is that the uh, snakes charmed him back and attacked, mm -hmm. right? Is that right? I do remember this. Yeah, yeah. So, pretty scary mm -hmm. that the snakes could enchant you. And I would actually have thought like it was from the rattle, like the sound, but I guess that there is a myth around that snakes can charm you with their eyes. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, eyes, yeah. yeah, like kind of how like a vampire is supposed to do. Yeah. So yeah, they turned their backs on him. They got him, but this is now known as Fiddler's Rock. And not many people want to trek up there anymore because of the legend. And plus those snakes, right? Yeah, who wants to be around the snake? <laughs> legend or no legend, exactly. tell me there's a bunch of snakes like that. Exactly. I'm not going to be there. Mm hmm But there's also some ghost stories surrounding that area because the people down below will often hear a low, sad fiddle song playing and they can't figure out where it's coming from. So the legend is that it's coming from Martin Stone. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty creepy, right? Pretty creepy. No doubt about it. Yes. Scale of 1 to 10, how much do you believe that story? <laughs> How about you? I would put me at a solid three, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far-fetched, yeah. but you know, it's fun. And the great line of Shane's story, can I tell him, of course, is the ending when he says, In any case, if someone decides to fo follow Martin Stone's path of charming the snakes with their music on Stone Mountain, he should make sure his intentions are pure and his music is true, lest his life should end on a sour note. Oh, I love that line. I know. That was that was a really good one. Yeah. That was good. That was a great line. Probably my favorite line in the whole book, honestly. It's top three for me. Yeah. But it is a little far-fetched. Um, I mean, I'd say that. And I don't even believe that not many people hang out there anymore because there's actually carvings in the stone. And hopefully we can flash some pictures for you guys. But there's actually carvings in there now of like fiddles and guitars and cool. stuff like that that people have done. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> where, where were we? <laughs> Such a good story. Those poor little snakes. <laughs> and Martin. Don't forget Martin. <laughs> I made him cry. Or it's his sore throat. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this story and tell us what you think. Do you think it's real? Do you think it's not? Maybe some truth to it. That's what my thoughts are. But we Usually, love there's some kind of truth. There's some kind of truth to it. Yeah, I'm sure that there was a guy that like playing fiddle up there and maybe he kind of enchanted a snake one time or something. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know. Because it can I'm theoretically happen. You do. I mean, they respond to music and... And that, that's part of the... Um, like one of the theories of the snake handling is that mm -hmm. they actually get charmed by the music or just you know yeah i suppose the, they, no, the they can just get some throws vibration off. i guess of it mm -hmm. so i mean that's not too far-fetched i would think no yeah so let us know in the comments if you like it give us the awesome. thumbs up subscribe and share all that means so much to us guys we really appreciate it and it really helps us continue on with this so thank you so much we'll see you on down the road i shall return he shall return and Douglas he will McCarthy be seeing double i'm sure that's right <laughs>